Langston's pregnant. What did you say? Congratulations, Nana. You've always been very imaginative and highly creative. It's one of the things I love about you. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, we're not. And we're very sorry. We, we were planning on, on telling you, you know, in, in a better way, but we just didn't want to upset you. Any way you would have told me would have been a shock. So, you really are pregnant. Yeah. I see. Boy, you better run. Oh, great. Hey, hey, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. How can it be okay? You're a child and you're about to become a mother. Uh, very old for me. I mean, this hormonal was... punk took advantage no, of you. he did not. I never take advantage of her, Dr. Ward. Langston is special. Yes. She is unique. You she is right out of a mouth. gifted writer. And you... You're nothing. You are zero. I don't know what you said to this exceptional young woman to convince her to have unprotected sex with you. But so help me, after I cut out your tongue, I'm going to aim further south. Will you, will you stop it? God, you sound just like Mr. Manning. What did you say? I said you sound just like Todd. Well, that hurts. The truth always does. What about the truth? That you are 16 years old and you're pregnant. I expected more of you. You should expect more of yourself. Oh, she can be pregnant and still be an awesome person. Oh, how, how, so, how awesome is she going to be walking around with your squalling brat on her hip? Okay, look, I think you're getting a little wound up about this. You just told me you're pregnant. I know, but that doesn't need you stop for even a second to consider what your life was going to become before you gave yourself to this, this non-entity. I may not be rich like you or famous. You are thoughtless and selfish and mindless, and that's why you had sex without using protection. And now Langston could have any number of sexually transmitted diseases. Langston, you could have oh, chlamydia, you could have gonorrhea, Look, syphilis. I can promise AIDS. you I don't have any of those. Oh, really? How can you be so sure? Because you trust this creep? Please, Langston, you're smarter than that. Didn't you think about how you were about to sacrifice your life, your future, and for what? For this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You should never have made such a reckless mistake. You're a Kramer now. If this is how a Kramer is supposed to act, I don't know, maybe I'm not a Kramer. Not anymore. You are my responsibility, Langston. Okay, look, I, I'm not ready to talk about this. Can we just stop yelling, please? It seems to be the only way to get through to okay, you two. Well, it's too late for that, okay? I mean, is this how a Kramer is supposed to handle a situation? A Kramer is not supposed to get into a situation like this in the first place. Oh, please! I mean, I've only lived in this house for six months, and even I know that Kramers are always getting in trouble. And besides, I thought the whole point of being a Kramer is that you come running when another Kramer needs you. You have your other's backs. I've got her back, and I'm just a Rivera. You got a lot more than her back, and that is the problem. Okay, no, the problem is what we're going to do now. And the way that you just came down on me, I completely understand why Star ran away. With your help? Yes! Yes, with my help. Why should she stay here and get screamed at? That was Todd. Oh, okay. Well, where was Mrs. Manning? You know, where the, where the hell were you? I mean, Star needed help. Her dad is psycho. And you let him lock her up in your own house? But no, who cares about Star? You had a wedding to plan. I was out of town, and I, I admit that I, I have been somewhat preoccupied lately. Somewhat? I can't even get you on the phone. Some, half the time, I don't even know where you are. It's true. She's always trying to find you. You! Shut up! Oh, you know.
know what? As far as I'm concerned, Star and I are the only real Kramers left. We take care of each other. Because right now, it seems that being a Kramer means putting up with maniacs like Mr. Manning. And if that's what being a Kramer means, then count me out. Excuse me. I need to say something. I want to apologize. I know that my life has gotten very complicated lately. And um, you're right. I didn't intercede on Star's behalf. And I shouldn't be allowing Todd to live in this house. But most of all, I'm very sorry that you feel that I wasn't here for you. And I want you to know that I'm here now and you can count on me. There is always a solution for any problem. We're going to handle this situation. 